Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about ODO 15 Physical Localization Package for US. ODO is entitled as a complete package for an ERP solution that is constantly switching to its new version every year with more updated features. The ODO platform can be configured with features to benefit country specific users because Odo has clients all around the globe with different locations and different requirements. So Odo provides different physical localization packages which defines the necessary configurations of taxes, physical positions, chart of accounts and configurations of specific certificates for the accounting module which is in general required to make the ERP usable for the specific country. Now let's have a look onto the features upon installation of Odoo 15 localization package for US. So basically the US localization that is an Odoo package can be installed at the time of database creation or the user can install it from the apps. So in the apps let me filter out based upon the module. So here I have filtered out the modules that is related to US localization. So for US localizations, you can see the related modules are United States Accounting, 1099 reporting, US check layout, then NACH, pay, NACH payments you have, then you also have US accounting reports. So these are the available modules for the localizations of US in Odo. So I have installed this module and we will look into its functionalities one by one. So before looking into the functionality, the most important thing or the foremost important thing before setting out any informations or the functionalities of the ERP software of an organization, the first thing is to set up the company details. So from the settings, you can set up the company details where you have the options to set up that. So from here, you can set up the company details or either from this menu called as under user and company, you also have an options. From here also, you can set up the company details. So you can provide the details associated to the companies over here like the contact address then country and similarly with the ex uh, when you explain or when you provide the country field over here automatically the currencies would be updated similarly you also have the option to provide the VAT units also so for that also you have the menu over here so under here under the settings you can set up the company details with specific country details as well as its currencies. Now let's have a look into the other functionalities which brings up with the US localization. So as we have seen that from the app store we are having different modules related to US localization among which one was United States that is accounting part. So basically this module, that is the accounting module, it provides the United States chart of accounts, which helps to list out all the accounts that is used to record an organization's financial transactions. And that can be seen under the configurations of the accounting module. We have a chart of account option. So from here, you can see all the default chart of accounts related to US get automatically installed with the installation of the module called as United States Accounting. So when you install that module, that module will provide you United States chart of accounts. You can list it out from here. To set up those accounts, you can set up it from here. Or if you want to create a new one, you can create it over here. But with the installation of that particular module, these are the few chart of accounts that comes with the localization. And you also have an option 
to filter them based upon the different options like asset, then liability, income, expense and all. So with the installation of United States accounting module, it installs the United States chart of accounts, which will help you to record your organization financial transactions. So that is the one feature. And moreover, with the installation of the corresponding localization, you can see the correspondingly the sales tax as well as the purchase tax are automatically updated over here. So basically with the installation of the module related to the corresponding localization, the default taxes that is applied to the local transactions are also installed and updated. So with US localization, you can see the sales tax and purchase taxes are automatically updated over here. And moreover, when you scroll down, you can see the physical country, that is the domestic country for your accounting is also set up to that corresponding localization, so that is United States. And moreover, the currency is also updated to USD. So from the settings of the accounting module, you can see these are the few changes that is upon installation of the US accounting module automatically the default taxes that is applied to local transactions are updated. Similarly, the physical country as well as the currencies are also updated with the installations of the module. So these are the few updated features with Odo 15 physical localization package for US that is in the settings. You can see these changes. Now, the next module, upon the installation of the next module, the changes are in the reporting, you can see we have an option called as 1099 report. So basically, as we have seen that in the app store for US, we are having a 1099 reporting option. So basically, we can say that Odo 15 accounting module for the particular localization that is US localization brings up this new feature that is called as 1099 report. So which helps to export a CSV file containing all the informations that you needed to e-file 1099 through a third party service. That is, it can easily export your accounting data that can be imported to a third party, that thus 1099 e-filling. So basically, you can use this report, that is 1099 report visa, that is when I use this option, automatically a visa would be coming. So where you can set up or where you can pick the start date and end date. And also here you can see you have the options to select the journal items. And once you click on the generate button, after clicking on that, it will automatically check the selected journal item and generate 1099 report CSV file. So for that functionality, we are having this feature. So basically 1099 reporting is a new feature in this localization package which is coming with the US localization. So this is one of the new feature add upon with Odo 15 physical localization for US that is 1099 report which help you to export the CSV file that is containing all the information that you need to e-file 1099 to a third party service where you can mention the start date and end date and similarly here you can add upon the journal items that you need to be included. So this is another feature with the US localization. Now the another module related to US localization was related to US check layout. So with Odo 15 physical localization for US, it also brings up a module for US check layout. So basically, this module 
allows the users to print their payment and pre-print the check paper. And also here you can see you have the options that is to configure the check layout where you have certain print check top, print check middle US related as well as print check bottom related to US. Here you can set up uh, the layout. Then you have the options to select this multi-page check stuff. Then check top margin as well as check left margin. So basically with the installation of that module, it also help you to configure the output that is the layout etc from the company settings or from the settings of the accounting module and also you can also have the option like to check or to pre-print the checks also of the payment so if you select this payment and if you check under options you will also have the option to print the check also so this particular module that is us check layout helps you to print your payment on a preprint check paper and also helps to configure your check output or we can say it as a layout also so that modules bring upon that functionality now the next app that we are having with us localization is this nasha payments so basically upon installation of this payment we can say like nasha is a standard for an electronic system that connects all the us bank accounts and facilitates the movement of money among them so in order to include this functionality with the us localization you have to install this module from the app so upon installation we can see that it we can see here in the payments if you make the payments you, okay so here we have a default payment done so here you can see as a result of the payment method we will have the option to select the payment method as naja so you can use that option for that so under payment method also you will get that payment method so basically it is nothing but a carrier for carries which carries electronic financial transaction that is between the bank and payments service providers so with this you can generally export payments as natural files for the use in the united states for that functionality we are having this module so you can make transaction with this particular payment that is natcha payment which is generally an electronic carrier we can say or a system that connects all the us bank accounts as well as it facilitates the movements of money among them now the next module uh, related to us localization is that us accounting report so basically with this us accounting report uh, when you install this module it provides you the basic reporting sections you can check it out under the accounting module so it provides a basic reporting section with us gap with profit and loss balance sheet then executive summary cash flow statement check register and other uh, partner reports and audit reports so here is the few other reporting like you have with this with the installation of the us accounting report it provides you a general reporting section which includes like profit and loss balance sheet executive executive then cash flow statement and check register options so with the installation of the module it provides you this feature so these are the few features or the functionalities that are updated into the system with the installation of the us localization packages so once again if i check or if we go to the app store so these are the few modules that is related to us where you have the option called as united states accounting so with this installation of the module this module will provide you the united states chart of account to list out all the 
accounts which is used to record the user's financial transactions and all. Then similarly, with the installation of this module, the default taxes of the accounts, default taxes of an organization are also set up. Similarly, the physical countries as well as the currencies are automatically updated. Then we have 1099 reporting, which is a new feature in Odoo 15 localization for the accounting module that is for US itself. So, which helps you to export the CSV file containing all your information. So, you can use that where you can generally mention the start date, end date and also you have to set up the journal items. And once you click on the button to generate it, it will automatically uh, generate the 1099 report CSV file. Then similarly, you have US check layout. So with this module, you can print your payments as well as pre-printed check papers and you can also set up the check layouts and all. And then also you have the NACHA payment for US. So generally, it acts as a carrier that which carries a trying financial transaction that is between the bank and the payment service provider. And you can also export the payment at NACHA file for the use of United States. Then comes the US accounting report. So with this installation, it provides you a basic section like profit and loss, balance sheet, executive summary, cash flow statements, check registers and other partner and audit reports. So these are the few features or updations with the installation of US physical localization package in Odoo 15. Thank you for watching this video.